Hey guys, Kuzumar here, back with another video, and in this video today, I'm going to be drawing the main character, Eden, for my new series. I'll show you the character design here in a second, just going to get a little bit of the drawing done, but um, this is just a fun drawing of him, just random, nothing special, didn't, I don't actually have anything planned for the drawing even. Don't exactly have anything in mind, but Yeah. Sorry, got a little quiet, but um Yeah, this is gonna be the main character for my new manga. His name is Eden. And, uh, yeah, so the, I've already talked about it a little bit, but it takes place in a world where, uh, bounty hunters have essentially taken the job of pretty much, um, military and they are government hired as well so they're pretty much a government job and the reason why it got to that point is the threat of other bounty hunters pretty much became too great and their military and police force and other forces like that just couldn't handle the threats so the government ended up hiring pretty much a counter um, bounty hunter guild to deal with um, this this one um, terrorist pretty much assassination bounty hunter guild that ended up showing up during a point in the history of the manga which the manga actually starts far past this point um, but that's just the backstory on the setting of the manga But yeah, that's pretty much how it came to that point of them being like the essentially the protection force of the country instead of them relying on police and military, which they do still have police and military, which is going to be an interesting conflict because most of the police and military actually don't like the structure of the bounty hunter guilds and they they're a little bit jealous of them in their own way but that's a development in its own during the series um but yeah And essentially the power that is used so in the series the power scaling not scaling necessarily but the power they use and stuff like that within um, objects that they have that give them like technically superhuman abilities um, I don't call it superhuman abilities in the manga I'm just phrasing it like that but um, essentially the way that works is uh, there are marked um, children and people that this is this is uh, the whole turning point in the manga where uh, in the in the past where um, people were starting to be born with these marks and these marks allowed them to access a certain kind of power and most of those people who had the had that power that were predominantly known were bounty hunters and that's why the military was so um, just overwhelmed by the power of these people because they just couldn't deal with something that was of that magnitude because they've never dealt with what would be considered like superhuman strength and stuff like that but they could essentially 
pull power from another dimension. And what happened was um, things started getting more and more streamlined after everything happened in the manga. Everything started getting more and more streamlined to the point where, you know, through science and just like experimenting, um, pretty much the people that didn't have the ability with this um, mark, that didn't have the ability to conjure this power without the mark, they essentially learned a way to create a seal on a cartridge that ended up tapping in to this well of power that the marked users actually use. So, essentially, people who weren't able to use the power now are able to use the power but only through using it with this seal. Of course, someone who's using it with a seal will have a hard time controlling the power because it's not native to their body, essentially. But um, the way they're able to control it a little bit better is basically they have these uh, power cartridges that they hook up to weapons. And there's several different versions of these power cartridges. Um, like, there is rechargeable power cartridges. There are, um, because since they pull from a, from a different realm, um, it's where you could either have it, see, it, there, these cartridges are also regulated by the government because they don't want someone, um, going too overboard on the power because essentially everyone has their cap on how much of the power they can use on their body and if you go over that cap of power you use in your body you go into a state of insanity and you start losing your mind and you uh, pretty much go into a berserk mode which is something that you will we'll see about in the series But yeah, I don't know. It's a series that I've really wanted to do. Um, fun fact. Uh, this is actually a series that I came up with the idea of a long time ago on my channel. On my other channel. There's actually a, uh, <laughs> a video um, for when I had 100, only 100 subscribers on my other channel. That I created where I drew um, the main character for this series uh, back then and uh, I, don't, I don't know it must have been like two years ago or something like that that I drew this for the first time except his character design was a little bit different not too far off but a little bit different and um, it was still called Bounty's Gate at the time, as well. And man, that video is so bad, so I'm not gonna link it to you guys. But... But yeah, I created this back then. This idea. And now I'm executing on it. I haven't been developing it the whole time. I've been throwing little ideas into it here and there, here and there. But what scared me was I never watched Hunter Hunter, right? And so when I watched Hunter Hunter for the first time in the past few weeks, I was like, oh my gosh, it's all about bounty hunters. I was like, great. See, I never knew that. I knew the series was named Hunter Hunter, but I had no idea it was about like all these like bounty hunters. They hunt mostly wild things, but it looks like in Hunt Hunter, they also get hired for other jobs too, which I had no idea about this whole story. And I was like, oh no. But when I watched it, it's, it's, it's not similar to mine at all. <laughs> 
as you can probably tell from the like description I was giving you of stuff, but the actual story of the manga follows Eden. Oh yeah, that's what I was gonna say about the character originally. Um, Eden here was actually his name was actually Owen and um, I could still change his name to Owen I actually really like Owen but um, I think I use Owen for a one shot of mine that name so I just went with Eden instead because it um, oh crap I already forgot the meaning of it I don't have to memorize the meaning of it but um, I like the meaning of Owen and it actually relates to how he got the name. Um, kind of just his personality and stuff like that. But yeah, this is Odin. Eden, not Odin. Eden. I realize I like making characters with an O. Oh. And just for a little information, these little marks here, these are actually tiny little scars, um, if anyone's wondering. So, that is that. And, also for anyone else who's wondering, I'm going to show you the design now, over here. The, this is his design um, that I'm going to be posting on Instagram here, very soon. And, um, basically... Yeah, he has this gauntlet. That's his power. That's his weapon type. And these are going to be the cartridges that go into it. I'm going to be designing the cartridges better. That's just a placeholder. Um, there's going to be a few different types of cartridges, and I need to design those. Um, but yeah, this is Odin. Od Eden. Eden. <laughs> ever, every, ever since I said Owen from uh, the original video I made like years ago. It, keep, it keeps on sticking in my head for this video, and I don't know why. But yeah, um, he has this gauntlet, and no, it's not attached to his arm. Like, it's not like his arm. This is a weapon, an accessory. So, he has normal arms. Um, yeah, I didn't want to make him a character like that. And you'll probably see why in the series um, when I actually start it. Woo! And yes, I am going to be revamping my Patreon. And yes, a big part of this manga is going to be within my Patreon. And yes, my business plan is to make my Patreon even cheaper with more content. Crazy, right? But yeah, I'm going to be incorporating this into my Patreon. But... Don't worry, the manga will be free to read as of now, unless there's some sort of huge company deal that comes my way, but um, I want to make it free to read for now for everybody, and uh, it's going to be a tiny bit till I can actually get the manga out, but I'm going to slowly go one, one step at a time with it, with the series. behind him maybe just make it seem like there's a bush or something here just for composition's sake oh 
Oh, although I don't people think this is a part of its design in like a picture or thumbnail or something. <laughs> Oh yeah, and uh, I recently posted this, um, his initial design that I made on Instagram, and uh, I made these parts orange, and his hair is also orange, but I changed these parts to uh, a red, because if you were to um, make... It, black and white orange would typically turn out to be white um, unless you did like very uh, intricate de uh, screen tone details which I'm not going to do like crazy amounts of screen tone in this manga um, but yeah so I need to change it to a slightly darker color and I also think it contrasts his whole design in, in, in all a little bit better but um yeah i had to change it to red so that is that and i'll show you that here real quick it was orange but now it but now it is red and this is pretty much the rough color design of it of him and he's got green eyes and uh yeah this is eden this is eden guys But, in any case, that's pretty much it for the video, so, big shout out to my patrons, thank you to my patrons, you guys helped me be able to do what I do on these channels, and, if you guys are new to this channel, like what you see, please subscribe, hit that bell icon to get notified when each video comes out, if you like this video, please hit that thumbs up button, I don't know if I said that, probably did. My mind's a little bit out of it right now. Hope you guys like Eden. And uh, see you guys in the next video.